great day this Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully you had some time to get outside and, and spend time with your family, your friends. But this is an excellent way, in my opinion, to end uh, this Sunday coming to church and being with our friends and our family right here at Stratford Heights. Uh, as we go into our welcome time, maybe you might even want to grab a seat because I have a few things to say and you might want to take a break. You might have stood in the sun all day and you're like, hey, I'm tired of standing, I need to sit down. So anyhow, we'll have you set for a second. Uh, a few things that we want to announce. We have a big, big event coming this Friday night. Uh, in the Church of God, you know, uh, here in Ohio, over the last year, we were always uh, Southern Ohio and Northern Ohio, and we've combined. And something new that they've added, uh, they're doing different and new things with the Church of God here in Ohio now. And uh, we always have a big camp meeting. That is going to be all next week. And it's going to be at the Potter's House. But this week coming, this Friday, we have a regional camp meeting service here at Stratford Heights at 7 o'clock. A gentleman that's a pastor from Cleveland, his name is Richard uh, Bowles, is going to be here preaching. And all there's going to be 20-some churches represented. And we want you to be here this Friday night at 7 o'clock and be a part of that. And it's going to be an awesome service, awesome fellowship. And we'd love to have you. Uh, also, we want to mention again, tomorrow we are participating in the parade here in the city. If you are uh, want to see that or want more details about it, you can see Mark Berger and ask him, and uh, he will fill you in on more details. Uh, next, we have an event with the Oasis, which I am fond to because I am the pastor there in the Oasis Youth Group. We are meeting at the Germantown Dam at 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And uh, you bring your own food, and we're going to play tons of games and absolutely have a blast. Then at 3 o'clock, at 3 o'clock then, we have another picnic, and that's going to be with uh, Fusion, the Young Adult Ministry, and that's going to be at Christian Mays' house. And uh, they're all going to get together at his house, and they're going to have a blast. If you want more details, you can see Christian about that, and it's going to be a wonderful time. With all that being said, we can now get up. We can get back up and we can get out and greet one another and welcome each other to church tonight here at Stratford Heights. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah.
Jesus is worthy. One, two, three, four.
just give your own to Jesus. Give him all there is freedom. Just give your own to Jesus.
are going to go into our prayer time. I'm reminded tonight of the scripture that says that he is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Sometimes, you know, just knowing he's there is everything and understanding that he's in control is everything. Tonight we find ourselves, if our heart and our desire is in the right place, we find ourselves in the perfect place that we could be to have God as our Savior and to watch over us and to take care of us. We could have nothing better than to have Him as our very everything. Tonight, when we pray, and we are going into our prayer time, we, when you pray, understand that you are not praying, throwing out something, hoping and, and just want, wishing that something's going to go right. Understand that God is in control and that He loves you and that He is taking care of you and that He is working things out in your life and He wants to do awesome and wonderful things that will help you, that will work out for the absolute best that they possibly could, that will help you, that will take care of you until you absolutely walk on streets of gold someday. That is the promise, that is the blessings that God has for us tonight. We can have confidence as we go in our prayer. God is awesome. God is so faithful and so wonderful. I'm reminded of how awesome he is. We're, I want us all to pray. As we go into our prayer time, we're going to ask to, to raise hands and people to come forward. But we want to play, pray specifically for Melissa and Danny Beckett. Last weekend, we celebrated. There was a great report. Danny had come back and was feeling so much better and stuff. And we got a negative report this week. And of course, you know, as if you know, if you've been in that situation or you can only imagine what kind of what kind of stress that puts on us. But we know God's faithful and God's able to do awesome and wonderful things and his word proves true tonight. So if you, I would ask our ministers to come forward for our prayer time. If you have a special need that you would like to be prayed over tonight, uh, something specific that you really want to take before the Lord, you can come down and one of these ministers will absolutely agree with you that God is going to do exactly what he said. If not, if you would just say, hey, I have a need that I want to be that I want to mention by an upraised hand that we want to pray with and pray about here at the uh, prayer time. Okay, we see the hands all over the house. Let's pray, let's believe that God is going to move and do an awesome thing. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, our confidence does not shake. Lord, our confidence is strong in you. Lord, you've moved mighty and wonderful ways. Lord, you've done awesome things. Lord, you've parted waters. You've healed people. You've provided and given everything that we've needed in our life. Lord, you've never let any of us down. Lord, tonight we come in confidence and assurance, laying every care and every need at your feet. Lord, believing that you're able to move and able to work and do the awesome things, Lord, that we trust you with tonight. Lord, we pray that you would touch Melissa. Pray that you would minister to her as she's dealing with the issues with her husband. Pray that you would just bring comfort and your peace into her life. Lord, you said that you would be there in the times of trouble. This is that time. And Lord, we pray that you would touch Danny and pray that you would minister to him and heal him and raise him up. Lord, I pray that you would just work and minister to him in the name of Jesus right now. And Lord, we pray that you would continue to touch and minister to our pastor. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would just be with him. Help him to continue to heal and get better and just watch over him and take care of him. And Lord, I pray for the church tonight. Lord, that you would go all over this building. Lord, that you would touch every hand and every heart and every life. Lord, let them know that they're not by themselves, but Lord, they can have confidence in you. I pray that you would move in healing and touch. Lord, all over this house, Lord, remind us of your love and your ability to do the wonderful things. Lord, I pray that you would bless this church. Lord, let your spirit and your power rest here. Lord, let your will be accomplished and done, Lord, all over this house. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come against the enemy that would, that would come against the revival and the things that are happening here at this church. And Lord, we just give this night to you. We give this day to you. We give this church to you. Lord, our very lives, we have confidence in you. And we praise you tonight, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We give you all the thanks, Lord. We give you all the praise tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your spirit have your way here, Lord. We do it to honor you and to bless you tonight, Lord. Sing with me how we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's our God. And all will see how great. How great.
be seated. We want to receive the tithe and the offering tonight. We want to give tonight as God has blessed us this week. Let me read a couple of verses of scripture before we receive the offering. Found in 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, beginning with the 7th verse. It said, everyone must make up his own mind as to how much he should give. Don't force anyone to give more than he really wants to, for cheerful givers are the ones God praises. God is able to make it up to you by giving every, you everything you need and more so that there will not only be enough for your own needs, but plenty left over to give joyfully to others. God doesn't want us to force anyone to give. He wants us to give because the word says for us to give. He wants us to give joyfully and because we want to. See, this is something that God set up. We didn't set this up. All through the Old Testament, God demanded 10% of what everyone made. But when the New Testament came along during grace, he said, I'm going to leave it up to you. You still are supposed to do it, but you do it cheerfully and joyfully and because I've told you to. And that's the way we want to give tonight. That's the way we receive God's blessings upon our lives, upon our jobs, upon our finances, is when we obey him and give him what belongs to him. And when we don't, we can't expect, even though he blesses a lot of people that don't give, but we can't expect it, and we don't receive his promise to do that. So we want to give tonight because we love him. We want to give cheerfully. So let's pray and ask God to touch us tonight. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your love to us, for your blessings. We're thankful, Lord, for these that have jobs, these that have incomes, that they can support the church. And God, I know that your blessings will rest upon them because your word said, if you give, I'll give back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will men give unto you. That's a promise from Jesus himself. So let's give tonight because we love him and because we want to, and he will bless us for that. May everything that we give tonight be sufficient to meet the needs of the church, and we should give you praise and honor. In Jesus' name.
song written that was my testimony. This is it. <coughs> the devil, we give him so much credit, but he can't take your joy. He can't take your faith, and he cannot take your praise. It is a choice that you make. When I heard this song, the first thing that I wrote down was activate your praise button. Because that's what I thought. It's our choice if we want to press that button and turn on our praise. That's what we have to do. We have to take back control and stop giving that devil credit. Don't lose your praise. Turn it on every time you hear the name of Jesus. Get alone. Turn your praise button on. Praise his name. You will never lose your praise. It will always be there. I've let some blessings slip away And I lost my focus and went astray But thank God I didn't lose everything And I've lost possessions that were so dear I never lost my joy. I never lost my praise. Hallelujah, Lord, we praise you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. God, I do worship you. You 